I'm out here today in front of two sculptures, uh, my linear abstractions of an elephant that are on their way uh, tomorrow to the powder coater and eventually down to the uh, Waco Zoo along the Bravos River. And it's a part of a project that was organized by Creative um, Waco. The title of the works were, were Linear Abstractions and they represent a linear abstraction of an African element. And the work themselves is a continuation of my interest in using African art, African subject matter, recontextualizing it in a modern context to bring it into a more of a universal form of uh, expression. And the second thing that the uh, work follows is my interest in using digital fabrication techniques and digital fabrication processes to explore uh, new ways of creating uh, sculptural form. Now, the, the inspiration for the work came from the proposal by Creative Waco to design an exterior zoological menagerie adjacent to the zoo and along the Bravos River and Waco, uh, Texas. And in my original proposal, I used the form of the elephant to show different ways that I could abstract the form to create uh, different types of animal uh, forms. In this case, there was a planar abstraction and there was a linear abstraction. In the, the folks from Waco responded uh, very strongly to the uh, linear sculpture that I did from of the elephant and they actually asked me if I would consider, or to consider, making a calf so that they would actually have um, a sort of like a mother and a, a, a calf elephant as a part of their collection, which, to which I agreed. Uh, but more pointedly, the inspiration uh, from the form derives out of a saying that we stay at my 3D studio, which means that uh, what happens in a 3D studio goes out into the world. And a couple years ago, I had a student uh, named Jeremiah Baker who used an African elephant, a carving of an African elephant, as the basis for one of his laser scanning projects. And I knew that he had that data and I approached him and asked him if it would be okay for me to use that, uh, his scan data, uh, as the basis for this sculptural work. And I've always been interested and how you could use the 3D laser scanning process to create different types of typologies. There are two principal types of typologies that you can create through the laser scanning process. One is more of a triangulated polygonal type of topology, and the other type of topology that you can create is a NURBS patch typology. I was specifically interested in the NURBS patch topology because that provided almost like a quilted, a linear quilted uh, description of the sculptural form. And working with the output of that linear sculptural form has always held some interest for me and I always wanted to build a sculpture, do a sculpture work based on that uh, typology. So I played around with some of the parameters and came up with a NURBS typology that I found useful and that I used as the model to build the sculpture. And it's always really nice when you have a uh, model encoded digitally because it allowed me to very accurately sort of describe, create, uh, lay out, uh, produce, and the drawing of the sculptures which you see, which are in many ways are drawings in space. Uh, after, upon completion of the works, uh, I had a visit from the director of uh, Parks and Rec and he expressed an interest in me bringing the works into compliance uh, for head entrapment because they were going to be outside and that was a desire that they had during Parks and Rec. Now when you get these types of curveballs oftentimes they often produce opportunities because I had already executed the work according to my original sort of uh, artistic sculptural intent but going back and bringing the work into compliance principally made that I had to basically do like another level of uh, subdivision on the work to make the meshes more dense, which actually brought out even more the patch topologies of the work, which yielded to, uh, in the end, a better 
sculptural form. So it's one of these classic examples where a problem creates a constraint that creates an opportunity that leads to a uh, better work, which you see uh, before you here uh, today. And I really would like to thank the city of Waco, uh, Creative Waco, uh, Parks and Rec, for the opportunity to create this work and to live out a dream that I've always had artistically of using the laser scanning process as the basis for creating a linear sculptural form.